The fly I'm going to be tying for you today is a CDC Sulfur Emerger pattern. This is being tied on a size 16 nymph hook. I'm using white CDC feather for the wing post and I'm using a brown dyed peacock curl for the body. It's being tied on a size 16 nymph hook. You can tie this on 16 size 18 to match the hatch that happens uh, usually generally up here in the northeast um, late May and June. It's a huge hatch. It's a very very big hatch. It usually happens in the afternoon. Uh, it brings lots of lots of trout to the surface and lots of natural mayflies on the water as well. However, these flies tend to get off the off the water very fast and in many cases it can be a frustrating hatch to fish because of the abundance of naturals on the water and the fact that they get off the water quickly the trout focus in sometimes on the nymphs or the emerging mayflies. That's the reason why this is a good pattern. This tends to stay low in the film. It looks like a cripple. It's uh, very uh, vulnerable looking. The trout won't risk wasting extra energy to go after a dun that might be escaping them just as they uh, rise. There's been many cases where I've been out there during this hatch and there's just so many fish rising. You don't know which one to throw your line at. And then when you do, they totally ignore it. You can't figure it out because your, your dry fly matches exactly the, uh, the natural dun that's coming off the water. It's because of this, um, they're hitting the emergers. So to have an effective emerger pattern for the, the sulfur hatch is a big advantage. Uh, this is a deadly fly. I hope you enjoy and thank you very much for watching.